Okay, hello and welcome to another league race in the AOR PC Touring Car Elite League on Project Cars 2. I'm Fizzy and we are back for another two races in uh, this uh, super action-packed league. It is uh, at Hockenheim National this time around. And uh, for this week I am joined again like in the first round two weeks ago by Mr. Stevie. Hello! It's me, I'm back. And, and <laughs> you should clarify, because I didn't do all of the first round, I only did the second half of the first round. Yes. In right. case anyone was super excited for Insula Ventus to come back. I'm sure they were. I'm sure they're all really disappointed right now. But, I, you know, I bet they are. You have to prove them wrong. That's why you're here. Mm. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. Uh, as you can see from the screen at the moment, we are, as mentioned, at Hockenheim National. We're going to have two races. The first one, sprint race, 20 minutes long in uh, some heavy cloud. And then the main race, 40 minutes with a reversed grid. Also in heavy cloud conditions. So no mixed weather like we had last week at Alton Park. But I'm sure if the first two weeks anything to go by, regardless, we shall have some crazy action. So let's jump out to the track. We are in the... Uh, little practice session at the moment. There is no qualifying of course uh, anymore because the grid for the first race will be uh, sorted in a championship order and then of course for the second race as I mentioned everyone will be reversed based on the results in the first one Stevie. So are you looking for the forward to this one? Uh, yes basically. The These cars are always provi provide good racing. Every round so far is good racing and this track is just a recipe for good racing. Yeah. Um, if anyone was watching DTM a few weeks ago, there was tremendous racing around here. The stadium section isn't usually designed for the side-by-sides, but you can do all of it if you respect each other as racing. Um, it's going to be great. I'm sure it will be. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, the, <laughs> the first two weeks we had some incredible uh, racing uh, in these uh, little touring cars that we have here. Uh, someone will probably point out it is almost a sort of Renault Megan league because that is the preferred car. You can see both the cars in shot at the moment using the Renault Megan. As we see though, a BMW sneaking in in the background. There is a few BMWs and of course in the wet at Hilton Park last week we did see the BMW really stand out surprisingly in a way because it is the only rear wheel drive car here compared to for example the Renault uh, that is a front wheel drive but the rear wheel drive actually managed to come through as the best car to drive in the rain. It'd be interesting to see how uh, they will stack up uh, this time around against all of the Renaults. But uh, we shall have to wait and see. Either way, it's going to be super close between all these drivers. I will go through the standings in just a little bit, but I'm going to wait until we're on the grid. And then in the meantime, just enjoy VSR Noah driving some uh, warm up laps here. Is there anybody you know in the BMW that's top of your head? Uh, Andrex is in the BMW. He actually won the second race last week. Oh, good man! Yeah, very good man. He uh, is, you know, he's not the man who wins races usually, but you know, he's he is a very uh, experienced and uh, solid driver. And last last week, he was just able to pull everything together in the wet and get the BMW on uh, onto the top step of the podium. And you can see the other BMW right behind him. I can't quite remember who that was actually. Wait, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. you I'll tell, tell you. It's John Beauregard. John Beauregard. That's what's the one. Wait, no, that, that's another bow, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure. It says or has he changed uh, his name? <laughs> well, in the forum it's John Beauregard. But I swear it was John Beauregard on the track as well last week, but anyway. Maybe it's this guy. That's the guy! See, he's got BMW <laughs> and his pape they're facing into the wall. Because why wouldn't you face into the wall in that BMW? No, oh, there's, there's a some crash in the background. going on there. <laughs> well, this is what practice sessions are for. Practice yeah. what you are not Better intending to do, to do in the race. Than rather than in the race. Yeah, exactly. Because like, we will bang you. Just the try the things that uh, you don't want to do in the race, just to get it over with, and then you don't have to worry about it. Get it out of your system. Yeah, get all the crashes done and dusted, and then hopefully we'll have some close, clean racing in uh, the race to come. So now we're just waiting for, oh god, 60 seconds, really? Do we really oh have to no. wait 60 seconds for this practice oh session no. to end? Oh no. What's happening? No, it's okay, it's okay. Stevie, go and watch some cars on track. There's a few cars on track, I think. There we go! Adelex is driving at his fastest he's ever done. This is some solid course. first gear. Will he go into second? Shall we go cockpit for this? Ah, uh, look at this. Incredible. Oh, he's, changed. he's got a gear. He's in neutral. He's in neutral with uh, over 
3,000 RPM. He's just driving with a clutching. Yeah. He's doing a good job, I'm say, considering he's in neutral here. Will he hit this apex? I think he just about managed yeah, it. I think, yeah, that was a good line there. So this is Alexis at his, uh, at his full pace, as you can see. Who just else we got? Here. We've got Marauder. Oh, this is a big race between these two. The only two cars on track in this practice at the moment. Oh, wait, think. hang on, hang on. Oh, this is... Oh, oh, now this is some skills. This is Rallycross. I mean, Hockenham has a Rallycross track as well. So he's two decibels back. Clearly trying to find it at the moment. But Sarah yeah. Alexis doing. Oh, and it's over. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was enjoying that. I was. So obviously this uh, particular result sheet is completely pointless because that's just a practice result. But Scott, looking like he's uh, the man on the pace, based on uh, that particular session. I mean, there was also a, I mean, Mike self set a 138, which is only seven and a half seconds off the pace, so it was yeah. super serious practice. <laughs> and eight drivers didn't even bother going yep. out to practice. But yeah, we shall get some racing going in just a second. Just a reminder then of uh, the format. Here we go, sprint race, 20 minutes. Coming up first, a grid in championship order, then the main race of 40 minutes with the reverse grid. It's promising to be some good action as here we finally go, jumping on to the race session. And this is when I will uh, bring up the standings. So after the first two weeks and four races, here ha are the standings. There's been a few penalties, I've not looked into it in too much detail, but I know that uh, I, <laughs> I made this graphic in initially yesterday, uh, or two days ago. Uh, and the standings were a little bit different, so uh, I had to update it because of some stupid penalties, but uh, either way, these are the points as they stand with uh, half the season gone. TM Touring looking solid up there, 24 points of a gap, and then you consider the gap down to the other guys you can see in the top 10, only 10 points from 2nd down to 10th, so, you know, a really close championship apart from Touring, who for some reason are just uh, really been on it in the first two weeks. And he will then, of course, be starting on pole for this first race. Zenny up in second at the moment. Chagidan then after him. The Hunter, who uh, <laughs> has been uh, quite impressive, especially in the second race in the first week, when uh, I didn't know that he was Odan. But uh, now I do. So he's actually not a new guy in the, in AOR. He is, uh, you know, a relatively experienced guy. Uh, Rick in fifth. Andrex, after winning the second race last week in sixth. And to Despac and Alexis Goscu and Master will be starting this first race in the top ten. I believe the next man down as well is Scott, who obviously was leading after the first week, but had a bit of a disaster the last time out. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, do you agree? <laughs> I do agree. It should be me going. We should. There we go. There we go. I was. You like, just. I, I, you, clearly, we're waiting for you to just say impatient. that. <laughs> right. Ah uh, no! Lights are out. And the cars move to the side of the track. Is because, uh, wait, where's TM Touring? He should be coming through. Because obviously now the grid is uh, completely random order. Because it wasn't qualifying. Yeah, but I can't even see him on the left. Oh, he's not even on the left. Let's see. Oh no, we had actually lost. Yeah, we had 26 drivers uh, in the session. Oh, championship uh, leaders loud. Yeah, we had st yeah uh, we had 26 drivers in the session at the start of practice. Now there's 24, so we have clearly lost a couple of guys, and does that mean TM Touring is one of those? Let me quickly check. Yeah, he's in the Discord uh, driver lobby, so I think he has had some kind of problems there. Which is, is quite he... crucial for the championship. Yeah, is he able to get back in? I don't think he can at this point, to be honest. Oh, I don't think yeah. the game allows that. So he will have to wait for the second race and try to uh, do some damage limitation. This is a big opportunity for the likes of Zenny and Shaggy Dan and, Od and everyone really to catch up. Yeah. Some three points. So yeah, as I mentioned, yeah, Turing, Turing had that big 24 uh, gap leading the championship, but now, I mean, he's facing the same thing that Scott faced last week. He was leading the championship of the first, mm -hmm. first round of races, uh, and then he had uh, technical problems. Uh, that meant he couldn't take part in the first race last week, and now <laughs> it seems like there's a bit of a curse being at the top of the championship. Do not be the championship leader. Yeah. You want to take the lead in the final race. Exactly. If you don't have it before, you're, it's not going to go well. You know, just sit just casually down in like 25th throughout the season and then yeah. just, you know, 
jump up to first right at the final race. Absolutely. So yeah, th this could definitely um, make the championship very interesting, as uh, we're just seeing the cars parked up at the moment, just waiting for the whole grid to sort himself out in the correct order before carrying on. So yeah, of course, Zenny then inherits uh, the pole position when uh, team t uh, due to Team Touring's uh, problems, whatever they are. I wonder if he's going to break his fi finish second in the first race, Rod, today. First rounds in the last two weeks, he's finished second. Yeah. Starting on now pole, you would. Well, it could still happen. <laughs> You've got to be hoping for a bit more than that this time. Surely will be. Can you just go up to the back and see what, what's going on back there? Because uh, yeah, there we go. I believe that's the final guy. Yeah, Mr. Allen in twenty fourth position. And that means that the front of the field should start moving there in as go. they are doing now. To go through the rest of the uh, formation lap here, and of course, uh, <laughs> all these guys will have been sitting very quite a long time now stationary. So the temperatures, uh, you know, in the tires and everything might be a bit problematic. So I expect them to be trying to uh, weave about a bit to uh, get some heat into that in the second part of this lap. Seems there's anyone doing some crazy weaving. Doesn't look like it. No, they're being surprisingly, you know, Boring. in a line. I mean, well behaved. <laughs> well behaved. Well, the tyres might disagree. They, I'm sure, they would have loved some weaving. Oh, there you go. Bo is doing a bit of weaving then. Results to enjoy. Oh, yep. here we go. We've got some little weaves going on. Yeah, finally found some space. That's of course the widest part of the track, and it gets a bit tighter here in the final sector. I can see Tim touring in the in the stream chat. Actually, it's a shame to see you there instead of on the track, mate. But uh, it is how it is. As you said, you have a good lead, so uh, with a decent race too, you could still lead a championship coming out of this one. Obviously, Scott dropped to uh, <laughs> 11th place in the championship last week after uh, he missed the first race, and then he didn't have a particularly great second race as well. But uh, hopefully, you can uh, limit the damage a bit uh, a bit more than that in the second race, but let's focus now first on the 20 minutes sprint race to start off the night's action. Zenny from pole position. We already picked up a penalty actually, we'll check on that in a bit, exactly what that was for. I wonder if that was a jump start, but here we go, I believe he's put his, put his foot down. So the race is underway, the first race of the night, as Zenny streams down to the first corner here, talking him fast, a right-hander, it can be quite a good one, going uh, Side by side through there. The first few have gotten through it nicely, but it seems to be as we expect, of course, in these cars. Very close. Further back in the field. Maybe a few cars looking to make move in moves into the second corner. Heavy braking there. It's someone was braking very heavily on the inside. And a bit of contact. That was Visa Noah. Wonder if he uh, just braked himself or if he actually tried to make that move. But either way, they're gonna be side by side and still coming out of it and going down the straight. And this is Chaggy Dan and Hunter who uh, are going sub for third place at the moment, who will win out in this, uh, well, double apex corner, of course, you, we are on the national layout here, which means the main straight, or the biggest straight, cuts out before they get all the way down to the normal hairpin. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, pretty clean start, I have to say, so far, Stevie. It was, it was actually tremendously clean through turn one, I didn't even see that many people going hilariously wide either. But Zeni has done absolutely what I needed to do, he's got a bit, bit of a gap over Hunter now. Because I think it was Rick actually that was battling with uh, Shaggy down. Yeah, but, Ooh, uh, uh, and he's still hanging on to the third position. That's Rick now. Got Scott and Andrax here battling away through the stadium section. Well, it's possible. You've just got to be willing to know when you've lost. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, not really an easy place to battle through here. But uh, these touring cars, uh, you know, if you want cars that can battle through these tight and twisty sections, uh, these are the kind of cars that uh, could make it happen. As we are side by side into turn one for third really place on the grid. Help. Rick, is that Rick in that? Uh, no, that is Rick no, that's Rick in the, in the other one. And that is that his teammate trying to come through as well with the undercut. That is Scott. And he's maybe going for the move on both of them on the inside now of Rick into turn two. And wow, Scott making very quick work of those because he was started down in the bottom end of the top ten. Of course, being 11th in the championship. So a fantastic start from Scott. That was a pretty nice move, that was, to take two places in just the same amount of corners. 
looks to be all the same up front. Let's see if and, uh, fight. Uh, Andrix as well, making the move on, uh, on Shaggy, Shaggy down, down now. He's losing all the places considering he started second. Yeah, he's not having a great start to this race. Ooh, and he's being challenged That's there Alexis. as well. Left out Alexis, just about the right amount of room, but he's like going to s yeah, he's going to slow exit. And Alexis also under pressure. That is to Desert Pack just behind him. As uh, so Shaggy Dan moves across a little bit just to make sure he defends that inside line. Ooh, and Alexis trying to go right outside into the stadium section. This is a very good move. He can pull this off. We will have the inside line, but he has to make it work on the breaking here for the long left-hand corner. Shaggy Dan now on the outside trying to hang on there, and <laughs> he as well is able to do it. This is fantastic stuff for uh, <laughs> sixth place in this race and uh, ultimately Ale Alexis makes it work but he's run wide on the final corner and to Desert back up streaming through and nearly makes contact with the back of Ad Alexis and Shaggy Dan lost loads of speed through those final two corners and actually lost out to oh he's about to lose out I think to Gosku uh, nearly anyway but uh, he's actually just about held on to that one yeah that was that was well raced but uh, oh Zenny's under attack now by Scott Oh, Zen has lost the lead actually. Hunter's taking the lead from his teammate and Scott on the move still up into second place. Challenging the man who started on the pole here. And this could be a very interesting uh, battle. Oh, little bit of a wheel bounce. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of a sort of friendly tap there on the side as they cut off the straights into this uh, alternate layout. Oh, Rick was going to have an ambitious move then. He's, <laughs> he's hanging around. He's, he's ready to capitalize if these two jump over each other. Yeah, and Andrix as well tried to carry on the momentum that he had in the second race of last week in the wet, though, when he won in that BMW. He is right on the back of this as well. So it's a top five train at the moment. And it's, uh, it? it's very nice to see Andrix up there. Because even in, in the like GT3 leagues, usually, he's, he's sort of averagely top 10, but it's really nice to see him actually properly up there. Yeah, definitely is. It's, uh, Showing what he can do in uh, this car, and of course with default setups. Not, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know how good or bad he usually is on the setups, but I know that uh, I am usually the kind of driver that tends to uh, do a little bit better when uh, everyone is forced to use the same setup, because uh, I don't really know what I'm doing on that from. I, I agree on that. <laughs> we now have basically a five-way fight for the lead. Yep, it's a big train here from the hunter. Who, uh, He's looking very fast, Scott as well, making his way up from around 10th place where he started. So, uh, you know, just based on positions gained, uh, Scott <laughs> maybe would be up another spot. Oh, how's he done that? I must have done it through turn one. But, 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 but it was a but, hilarious call where he just <laughs> had a better, better line. Yeah. Oh, he might be able to come pick another one up here. He's getting it. Looks like Zenny got a bit out of shape there. Great exit out of the corner. Is that. Uh, huh, Zenny's going very slow out of the corner. Wonder if he sort of just backed off. Maybe he had a corner cut slow down. Uh, 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 yeah. I, I mean, oh yeah, he has gone red for the penalty. Yeah. There's several drivers. Like there's four drivers now in the top eleven that have got some kind of penalty. We'll check on that to see exactly how many seconds uh, they will be affected by it a little bit later. But see uh, we've got a bit of a little battle here for eight, and another one behind them for about ten. Yep. <laughs> Well, the so what's great about touring cars is it battles literally everywhere. Yeah, you could literally just uh, do like a randomizer to pick any driver in the field and they would probably be in a battle. And this, this is the battle close. for the lead. Yeah, Scott, who's made up so many positions in this race. He is looking on fire here in this uh, here around Hockenheim. Challenging the hunter now through the final few corners all over the back of him. Can he get the exit he needs to, to uh, have him move into turn one? Not too much of a breaking zone, but of course we saw Andrix make the move here. Uh, last, last lap. Oh, actually, we didn't, didn't see it, but we assumed he did here. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, but this is where Scott's made his most of his move, a lot of his moves into turn two. He's been, he seems to must have some sort of better line or just can carry more speed through turn one, but it's not quite enough this time. Or maybe yeah, I, I think this is the, pre pretty much the first uh, lap in the race where he has actually overtaken someone through turn two. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the Hunter proving a little bit of a tougher challenge at the moment, but look how close he is now. She will be picking up a bit of slipstream. Uh, going yeah, down to this break zone as well. He's got to go through on the inside. Will he break late enough? Hunter leaving him room the inside, but he's had a little wobble and he's run a bit wide there as well. Scott leaving Hunter now room on the next corner, which will give Hunter the inside for this breaking zone. So he should be able to hang on, but of course Scott now again with the cutback should be getting a better exit, but of course it's not the ideal spot to be on the outside for this corner. And now going towards the stadium section, will he still be able to get oh, a move? And the, what is that going on in the background? 
I think that was Rick or Zenny getting either slightly out of shape or going extremely aggressive through that corner. Yeah, and I do apologize to every <laughs> other driver in the field, but this top five battles, we, we, we can't really look away from this at the moment. It is such a close one in the top five, and the Hunter still hanging on for over a lap now since Scott basically started pushing him through every corner. Yeah, you see how close the, uh, Scott is to him through all the corners. It's You have some serious pace if you can run that close behind somebody. Yeah. Definitely. But this battling, they were, they were at the start of the last lap, they were 1.2 seconds clear of Andrex. Their battling's brought him right back in, although he's running Ooh, wide! Interesting line there for Andrex, definitely, as uh, the Hunter was taking a defensive line towards uh, turn two, but uh, realised that he didn't really need it. Got back to the racing line as Scott just following me through. And this is where Scott got a much better exit last time around. What will he uh, be able to achieve this time? He's about at the same distance as he was last time, so we could expect to see some more cyber snacks. And this time, Hunter goes for the inside. So this is the rules reverse from last time. And Andrex oh, getting very close as well in the breaking zone. The thing is, the longer you, you sit behind your opponent, the more time they have to learn where you're, you're likely to make your moves. Every lap that goes by and doesn't do it is just an extra incentive for, for the Hunter to know, okay, well, I've got you here. And now yeah. this is just bringing the, t the other three in as well, so now Scott has got to watch behind him as well as in front. Yeah, it's a dangerous game really. I mean, Hunter, all he can do is he needs to <laughs> defend uh, for what, he, what he's got. He's in the lead, that's where he wants to stay. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it really could bring the other guys uh, into the mix if, uh, if they have just a little bit of a tangle or something. Then uh, Andrex will be straight through into the lead instead. But so far Hunter is doing a good job to defend this position as we are <laughs> we are already way past the halfway point of the race. I mean, these first races, I mean, both races in this league just always flies by, but especially the first one, only 20 minutes long, and we're already down to six minutes remaining. So uh, Scott is starting to run out of time a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna end up having to surprise the hunter. It's okay. There's just uh, he's just running out of options. The thing is, this track it lends itself so well to racing that it's so easy for the defender to to try and get that line back and get the position back. Yeah, just constant cutback lines. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna <laughs> to be really interesting exit. how hard the how quickly the uh, the faster guys in the next race are gonna be able to make their way through. Yeah. I mean, Scott's already made his way through from a lower starting position in this race. He's yeah. already gotten some practice in for the second one. If it stays like this, of course, all of these guys will be starting right towards the back of the pack in race number two. It's nice the to see there's a lot of uh, cheering in the chat, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> got a lot of go on Hunter, a lot of go on Scott. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Andrek sitting there in the background just uh, waiting to ruin everyone's dreams. So, uh... At the moment, Hunter with the upper hand. Scott can't get close enough at the moment in the brakes. And just Hunter, he's, he's always late enough on the brakes. Even if Scott is a little bit later, he's late enough to uh, keep his car ahead. And he's not making any mistakes at the moment. If you're in this position of this top five, who would you, who would you like to be in? Ooh. I have... In, in this particular situation, uh, with the five cars this close, I would like to be at the front, I think. <laughs> See, I would change my. I would say Andrex because he's perfect. He's got the top the two behind him who were, seem to be occupying themselves, and if the top two collide, you've got an easy win. Yeah, easy in If class. they collide, that is. Talking you know. of which, no, He's out of his hands as to whether they will collide. The guy uh, Hunter, of course, it's in his hands to defend. Mm -hmm. If he keeps doing what he's done for the last few laps, he will be able to get this win. But Scott surely will not be giving up here. Once again, getting close into the heavy braking! Oh, oh, and Andrex has misjudged it! Scott flies off into the gravel trap! Man, oh that is an no. uncharacteristic mistake from Andrex. We don't usually see him in incidents at all. I take you back, I didn't that. want to be in Andrex position. <laughs> well, he's getting a position from that, but uh, I wonder what... I wonder what happened there. Was any was there any contact? Was any of the cars behind Andrex involved in any way? Uh, uh, for I me, it looked like Andrex just back too late, but... Yeah, I would... Oh, uh, that's why. An initial impression, that's what it looks like. Yeah. But, uh... Oh! oh is that dear. the Scott as well who's lost? No, that was that was his teammate. That was Shaggy Dan, who started second place, I think. Yeah, and he's oh, lost no. it in the wall. It's all going wrong. Scott, we're going for that uh, 
blue and yellow team. Shaggy Dan now down in 13th position. Scott in 7th uh, is where he dropped to after that incident. It could have been way worse, but he, he, that's going to be pretty gutting for him. Yeah, that is uh, very unfortunate. And uh, of course... Um, Actually, can can you quickly bring up the penalty screen? Actually, never mind. There's a battle for third. <laughs> <laughs> Wait one second. There is the Zenny. I think Scott's just gone off as well in the background. That's not good. Uh, Zenny holds on to third place ahead of Rick at the moment. And Scott, though, he stayed in seventh based on the uh, uh, overview at the moment. Blue and yellow car going wonky bit. Rick yeah, coming yeah. back at uh, Zenny, but back in out of it. So now I think you can bring up in the breaking zone there from Rick. I don't know what he gained from it. Maybe he was trying to sell the dummy and like ha ha, and then just didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he sold himself the the re dummy. Uh, if you can bring up the penalties quickly, if you remember what to press. There we go. So wow, Zenny with a 21 second penalty. I think I saw someone jump to start, so that I think might be why. Him. And I assume he will uh, uh, appeal to get that removed in that case. That's probably a 20 second penalty that he will get removed in that case because uh, you know obviously jumping to start. Yeah. In this uh, particular format will not make any difference. At uh, Lexis, six seconds, two a pack, a couple of seconds, Master as well. So, yeah, there could be a few changes. We can bring back the. Yeah, there we go. Ah, don't worry, I'm on it! <laughs> it's Rick's lost some time actually through the middle yeah, part of this lap for whatever reason. So, uh, Zenny looking safe for a podium at the moment. But he's very close behind Andrex, he might uh, be wanting a little bit more. But of course, with that, I mean, even if he gets a 20 second jump uh, start penalty removed. He still has one second um, sitting there. That could be problematic. Right, let's see who... Now Now the top four is... is well, top five is sort of... Uh, is let's see who else we can. Give some else, someone else some telly time. Yeah, Matzer is in uh, ninth and just ahead of Mr. Van Omen, of course, who started from last place, 24th on the grid. So Mr. Van Omen's made some moves through the field that... Uh, we haven't really been able to look at with all the stuff going on uh, uh, going on up front. But Mr. Van Omen is uh, having a fantastic race there as well and he's making the move for ninth then. Getting alongside Matsura and with the overspeed as well. So Mr. Van Omen is another, another one in the BMW. Matsura tried to break late in, late in the outside but Van Omen getting the racing line and making that move stick on... Uh, I think this is the penultimate lap of the race. We've got 45 seconds. I believe the top few drivers oh, hi, should... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get to... Uh, Oh, it's Andrex. This, this, yeah. this has closed back up again. <laughs> it really has, hasn't it? And Hunter now defending from Andrex, who is, of course, got a little bit damaged now after that contact with Scott earlier on. But he's going for the lead, and uh, Zenit sitting there patiently as well, hoping for something to happen. It really is a uh, close top three battle. So going to go into the final uh, lap of the race with about 10 seconds to go. So there will be one more lap in this race for everyone to fight out for the final few positions. I believe there is a battle actually for fifth back there as well. Or for fourth even. That is nearly three wide as uh, and Alexis sits just behind two desert back and Rick now has lo lost a lot of time. Yeah, Rick must have some kind of problem. He's uh, dropped right off the top three and straight into this particular battle. He's held on to fourth for now. But he seems to be struggling as Alexis does make the move on to desert back into turn two. Get himself some more points if he can hang on to it. But of course all of these guys, uh, apart from Rick, have got some kind of penalties. So uh, we'll have to see and wait for the final results to see exactly how this will shake out. As, oh look at Andrex, he's really pushing for this win now. All of that one half of a lap to go. Let's see that, navigate this little S and then into the stadium section. Will Andrex have enough of a run to uh, force a side-by-side -side situation? Right at the death of this race. Not quite at the moment. Hunter has held on to this lead all race long. It was Scott that challenged him for much of the race, but now Andrex and Zenny pushing him like no tomorrow. But it looks like he will be able to get this done as long as he doesn't make a mistake through these final few corners. Here we go. One apex to go for the Hunter who comes across to win. The first race here at Hockenheim National, Andrex in second place, barring any potential stewards uh, situation. But of course, after that incident with Scott, Zenit in third. But he will now briefly drop down because of his big penalty that might get removed, of course. So he might be able to hang on to that third place. We see uh, the other guys sort themselves out in the rest order. Tudesipak has jumped up to fourth. 
Uh, no, sorry, Rick will be essentially fourth if Zenny gets his penalty removed. So that's back then behind him, and you can see everyone just uh, coming across thick and fast now. Yeah, I tried to catch more people across the line, but the timings went mad when people started finishing. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to yeah, catch everything. And oh, of course, little one towards the line. <laughs> And it's John Beauregard, I think it was 22nd coming across the line, and then he moved up to 20th, so maybe someone had a penalty ahead of him. And you can see all the positions sorting themselves out. Yeah, I think Zenny has dropped down to 12th at the moment, but I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that he will get his 22nd penalty uh, removed, assuming he uh, appeals for it, because obviously a jump side penalty on a, on a formation lap is not really going to get an advantage. You would assume not. So, assuming that that will happen, then we have uh, the Hunter winning the race, Andrix in second, um, and then uh, Zenny in third, Rick fourth, Tudesa Pack, Oblitor, Scott in, uh, yeah, he stayed in seventh in the end, and uh, Alexis dropping, actually, yeah, the Lex is dropping down to eighth then, essentially, uh, with uh, his penalties. Van Omen in ninth, and a master, master in the final top ten position. And you can see the rest for yourself. So it seems like there's been, you can see the penalties on the right hand side of the screen. It seems like this, much more than I've seen in any other track on Project Cars 2, it seems to be a very difficult one for, you know, staying within the track limit. <laughs> yeah, the thing is with this track, it's certainly like the, the latter part of the stadium section in the, the final couple of corners, it's so easy to just lean a little bit too far because there's no penalty really to do it. So likewise with turn one. Um, interesting note there with the at the end of the, the timing screens there. Um, the top three were the only three to set lap times within but as a one thirty point something, and the only other driver to do that in that race was VSR Noah. Oh wow, really? And he finished like twenty second. Yes, it's very interesting. <laughs> uh, Noah clearly not ma maximizing his potential, I would say, in uh, terms of his results. Maybe we can see him though from a good position, he will of course now in the second race that will be starting in a bit, don't go anywhere guys, so we will have a 40 minute main race coming up soon and of course with a reversed grid based on the positions in uh, at the end of this race, so uh, Noah then, the good fastest lap, he will be uh, starting right towards the front in that one, and kid we want to wanna watch out for. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the championship leader, TM Touring, will get back in for that as well, I've completely forgotten the point system in this league. Same. So let me just quickly uh, check that because noticed, of course I noticed in the chat TM Touring was was not happy that Scott had his issues. He was really cheering for a Scott win because with Scott's issues yeah. he's kind of a bit further out in the championship. But it wasn't Zenny that won. So you can take some relief from that. Yep, let me quickly uh Who's also in the chat? <laughs> yes he got a twenty second penalty for jumping the standing start. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, not really going to give him an advantage, so uh, if he appeals that, I'm sure that that will get removed, and he will keep that third place that he got, and of course, you know, uh, we saw the race results of last week's uh, races uh, change a little bit afterward as well, of course, uh, with incidents like the one with Adrix and Scott, uh, the drivers have the ability to go to the stewards to, uh, you know, get them to look into it and potentially apply some penalties as well. Admittedly, we only really focused a lot on the top five because that's where all the action was. But that was really the only accident we really saw. I didn't really see many yeah, names was, uh... rapidly dropping down the order or anything. So, looks like a relatively clean race. Uh, yeah, if you guys, general. if the drivers can do what they did on lap one again, that'd be tremendous because that was very well behaved. Yeah, absolutely. So let me quickly have a look at the championship. Of course, of course, uh, this right here is uh, how the championship looked before uh, this uh, race that just happened. So as you can see, Tim Turing with his uh, big lead there, and I've checked now, and actually the uh, the uh, race winner gets exactly 24 points! But it wasn't Zenny that won, it was uh, the Hunter. So he was 27 points behind, he will now be 3 points behind then, after that. So that's got to be very, very close, and puts a pressure on uh, Tim Turing of that unfortunate technical issue. Uh, that uh, made him not able to start the first race, and both of those guys, Hunter and Touring, will be starting towards the back of the field in this second race. It will be really interesting to follow what they can do through through the field. How for... many points do you get for third? So you get 19 points for third. 
which means Zenny is four points behind Tori. Oh my goodness, and he's going to start in that range in the second race as well, so yep. yeah. That's the battle to look out for, I think, in terms of the championship. Touring, Zenny, and Hunter, who can make the best progress through the fields and pick up the points. Uh, whichever um, one does will most likely lead the championship out of those guys coming into the final week. Andrax says he needs someone to call out the grid. Right. Do how do I know the exact order? If I know what the order is, I will go and do it. But I don't know what the order is. Uh, I don't know. You can maybe if you go on the YouTube video that is currently ongoing, you can maybe skip back to when I was looking at the results and see them. Oh god! Because then obviously it's oh, the reverse god. of that, and then whoever didn't finish the first race. Uh, I assume they don't. don't do them. they go with what the penalties are? Uh, I guess so. Uh, obviously, you need to go into the lobby with Andrew. So you, you, you can ask him. <laughs> you can ask Andrew, and I'm sure he'll sort you to vamp. Okay, you do that, and I'll sit there and babble on a bit. Yeah, obviously, some uh, organizational stuff that needs to happen for uh, the second race to go ahead. The uh, grid having to get uh, sorted in the right order when it's a uh, manual, manual, manual uh, reversed grid. Unfortunately, no way we can uh, set the grid in uh, the game to what it needs to be. So, uh, need to sort everyone out uh, by voice chat and tell them to go in the right place on the on the version lab. Eventually, that should get sorted, and we shall get the second race underway. So, I think I'm gonna quickly just jump uh, out of my room and get something to drink, and I will. Oh, that says the wrong number. One second. I will put a. Uh, that there, just so you know that uh, the second race is coming up in just a second. Oh, we actually launched the lobby. But yeah, I will quickly pop off and I'll be back in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. Right, I am back and uh, the drivers are getting ready for this second race, as you can see from the graphic. The main race, 40 minutes! Heavy Cloud will be starting around Hockenheim National in just a moment. This is the third week of the AORPC Touring Car Elite League on Project Cars 2. I am Fizzy, we have just seen a uh, really exciting 20 minute sprint race and now the grid will be reversed based on the results of that race, which means most likely, and hopefully, that we will now see an even crazier 40 minutes main race, as we are on the formation lap, 
This is Visa Noah. I wonder if he meant to be the guy on pole then. I know he finished towards the back of the first race. I didn't think it was quite last. But it seems to be the case that he's lining up first here. As that BMW decided to park out on the grass, which is quite interesting as well. But uh, yeah, similar situations last time, where uh, the drivers will uh, be called out. Well, it's currently Stevie calling out the drivers, so I hope he can uh, call them out in the right order. <laughs> My co-commentator, that's why you're stuck with just me talking at the moment. And he's uh, unfortunately also the camera uh, man, which uh, so I can't really do anything about so the fact that the camera is sitting on VSR Noah constantly throughout this whole process at the moment. Stevie, I'm sure, is busy calling out their names in the correct order. So we just have to sit there and wait. You can see a Renault in the view, you can see a Mercedes just behind him, you can see a BMW back there as well. There's a few different touring cars on the field. Even though the Renault is by far the most used. Still don't know why that uh, BMW parked out on the grass there. <laughs> Can't even see him in this view. Apart from a little few little spots of his rear tire when the camera decides to move left. I think the cameraman here is a little bit drunk. He can't keep the camera straight. Quite, quite weird. Also seeing in the chat at the moment, Scott's in there. Uh, he thinks it might have been lag the incident with uh, with Andrex, which uh, yeah, I mean, I would I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case because Andrex obviously is uh, a veteran of the AOR Protocast leagues. He also knows the rules in in and out, <laughs> being a coordinator as well for the GT3 leagues. That uh, of course the AOR's main sort of series on Protocast too. And I'm sure that he f if if Andrix felt that it, it was his fault, that incident, then he would have waited. But the fact that it didn't makes me uh, think that uh, it must have been lag or some kind of uh, unfortunate issue there that caused that. As we have someone sprinting back into the commentary box after standing on the grid <laughs> shouting names. <laughs> It's really loud with the, the engines going and then. I can imagine. It's all good. Oh, also, for future reference, please don't go crazy up and down scrolling with the results. Sorry. Very difficult. <laughs> I didn't intend. I didn't know that it would be needed for this purpose. And the last person on the grid, you you flicked to. With it for like 0 0.1 seconds. <laughs> Come on, that's more than enough. Did you manage well, to figure it out? Yes. Ah, okay. So what's the last person on the on the field? Noah. Well, up to the hunter is reversed, obviously, and then there's Turing and Lindholt. Right. Who I suspect we lost in the first race. Yeah, they must have been the guys that dropped out at the start of the first race, unfortunately. So yeah, we have the field here. Noah ahead of Shooter in the front row. If you can just quickly skip through them, you can go through them uh, before the start of the race. So Phantom Hamster then. Mike Self also up there at the moment. John Beauregard in that BMW. Then... Uh, They're racing each other. They Jay Cool be, already be starting be <laughs> racing here. And then Maddo in 7th. Ricky Brosh starting in 8th. Uh, Ironic starting in 9th. And uh, Bo 2001. Shaydan in 11th after not an ideal first race. Gosku in 12th. Then Matster. And Marauder, Van Omen, after a great drive through the field, he will have hoped to do the same again. And then Alexis, we know, can be fast as well, starting 16th. Scott, who uh, had that incident in 17th. Obliter, uh, 18th, I believe. Then uh, Zenny will be starting in 20th, right at the back. But let's now jump to the front as the pole man, Viesa Noah, has put his throttle to the ground and is starting this second 40 minutes main race here at Hockenheim National and he is already getting a bit over through the first corner but he hangs on to the lead of the race and I expect this to be crazy. I think we can already go a little bit further back in the field because uh, that's probably where the main action will be of course with the faster guys starting right at the back the guys who did well in the first race here comes Shaggy down on the inside of a couple of cars maybe looking to make up some early positions and it's about 8 wide somewhere in there <laughs> where it just looks like it with all these cars streaming down on the straight it's a beautiful view I have to say Mr. Van Omen 
dropping a place actually from the start. I believe it was 15th, isn't that? Down to 16th now, and they're all breaking heavily. This, I'll be surprised if everyone makes it through here without incident, but so far, so good. Very impressive driving from all these guys. No big hits, no hits at all, I believe. Through here, there's two teammates there in the blue and yellow cars getting very close together. A bit of contact, but all cars staying in the right direction. That was Shaggy Down, I think, making some contact with one of the blue uh, Renaults. There's just all the drivers, all everywhere. It's impossible to really tell what's going on because it's just literally cars side by side going all the way down to the field of top. Oh no! Few drivers have pulled away a little bit, but there's a car way up into the gravel. Who is that? Is that a Mercedes? No, that's it's one of the Renaults. Because Rick is it's making Oblitor, his way in the back. Oh, Oblitor. Ah, oh, so the Oblitor has had an incident with at a Lexus, I believe. Then. And I would guess that's what's happened. Yep. Uh, so we jump back to some random point in the field and see much side-by-sides -side going on. Van Omen <laughs> struggling at the start of his race. He made up a lot of position in the first race, but now he's dropped three from where he started, under 18th at the moment in this particular uh, race. There's oh, a car failed. going in the completely wrong direction. As uh, Tim Touring there, we can see the championship leader who was unlucky. I couldn't start the first race. He's making up a few positions as well, 18th at the moment. And of course, we have to keep an eye on this battle between championship battle between uh, Touring, Hunter and uh, Zenny. Only four points apart in the championship. And they're all starting towards the back. Zenny up in 14th at the moment. Hunter is in 15th and Touring in 18th. So they're still close together in the field. There is the Hunter actually. And Zenny just ahead. Zenny tried to break on the outside there of uh, Master. And they're going to be side by side on the exit as well. Not the best exit there from Zenny. Getting a little bit tangled up with his teammate as well. But it does make the move. Oh. Master just turns into him. Uh, don't know why he didn't see him coming there. But uh, Zenny either way makes the position. Master stays just behind him and ahead of the Hunter. Which is crucial of course. Zenny wanting to get as far away from the other fast guys as he can. Yeah, it's... It's just crazy. You, could, you, you click a camera, is that somebody in the fore shot? Or I don't know who it was. Probably it's a desert pack making up a position on uh, Ricky Brush, I think. Um, it was Mike Self going the wrong way at turn one, um, considering he dropped down the order very quickly. It's just crazy. You click on a name and there's a thousand cars. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's one of those we're looking at. Uh, <laughs> oh, what's going on? That is a very slow Mercedes in the, in the foreground there. Is yes. that... Uh, it's not John Beauregard, he's the car behind, so it's Phantom Hamster. Who uh, was going very slowly down the main straight. He's still in the top five though. And they're holding on ahead of the BMW. Uh, I wonder if that's probably a uh, corner cut uh, slowdown then for him, I would imagine. That's Beauregard is under pressure from Scott, who's uh, making his way through, of course. Uh, maybe the guy with the best pace in the whole field in the first race. Fortunately, only finished oh. seventh with <laughs> that incident with Adrex that we think was down to lag. Now making the move on John Borrego with a little bit of banging, but no Lovely. harm done. And the Scott, you have to say, Scott is a favourite for this race. He's got, he, he's certainly one to contend with. The um, the other one that... Oh, oh no! That's a contact and that's Borrego facing the wrong way in the racing lane all of us. Oh, they're going to every side. But going past him there. This is such a scary moment. He can't do anything. Just hoping that every car avoids him and they to be fair to every other car they did. <laughs> well <laughs> avoid done to all of them. Yeah. That. And well done for him for not just planting it like a Grosjean and causing a massive accident. Yeah. Fantastic from everyone involved but of course unfortunate for John Beauregard as that was one of the cars ahead of him. Look at the gap that Noah has got. I mean we saw yeah. in the first race that he's sliding through the first corner. We saw in the first God. race well, you saw in the first race that his fastest lap in that race was very impressive, so he clearly has the pace. But, yeah, I was not expecting him to lead by six seconds after a few laps there. Yeah, he's, he's, this is his only issue. If he can get some good laps in, which won't help by going very sideways through turn one, um, he will have been in a really good position to hold people off. But yep. there's still a long way to go. Very long wait, 30 minutes remaining in this race. Andrex getting outbraked on the outside at the moment by Goscu, I believe that is, in the red car. I would say so, yes. Uh, no, it was not no. actually. But Goscu is ahead, so, and he's picking up a penalty, so that's uh, something to keep in mind as well. So who's the red car? That is, T is that Tim Touring oh, in the red car? Oh, yeah, so Tim Touring in the red car. Are Making getting up position, oh, from he's Mr. getting. Van Omen. Yeah, Van Omen. <laughs> Get, tell him to get a move on. 
to a double right hander. Went on again, very, very late. This is, is that a teammate battle going on behind? No, like, not quite teammates. Nearly teammates on colors, anyway. That is, uh, yeah, indeed, the hunter making the move, I think, on Rick, or uh, avoiding losing the position. I really don't remember who was ahead of those guys. You know what I'm finding interesting at the minute? Ten minutes into this race, and TM Turing, the hunter, Rick, with the exception of Zenny, they're pretty much all in the same sort of area. All right, yep. they've moved up a few, but we've had a few incidents. I think they're really struggling to get past. Certainly seems like Zenny though has got this uh, exactly where he wants it. He's pulled away from that huge pack behind, which has Touring uh, and Hunter, you know, stuck in at the moment. You can see it in the background. All those cars stuck in there, whereas Zenny has already moved his attention to the battle ahead. His Phantom Hamster is still going slow down the main straight. He must be having I some if he must big have problems. An issue. If Maybe he's, he's got some technical issues, issues like his pedal's not going all the way down, but he, yeah. like, that was visibly slower. He's clearly losing tons of pace on the main straight. Phantom Amps are dropping like an absolute zone here at the moment, unfortunate for him. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! That was a sideways car. So uh, Steve is frantically ball. trying to find the camera <laughs> to see what that was, and that was indeed Rick. Rick, one of the uh, top guys in the first race. Has had a tangle with someone. I don't even know who that was, but he, but yeah, he certainly uh, seemed to be struggling. He's with, uh, behind with the somebody. opal. That's maybe the only opal in the whole field. We don't see the opal a lot, but he's run very wide. Has the opal as uh, is that Lindholm? I wonder if that just might have through. been the one that they had a collision with. They may have been waiting for him. Yeah, it might have been the case. Yeah, if if, 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 if that was the case, there was Marauder that uh, he got tangled with because he was in the opal and uh, let him go by. So, uh, at Alexis, uh, has to be said, he's up to 16th at the moment from uh, dropping to the back with that incident uh, at the end of the second lap, I think. That's been some good progress. So he's doing very well. Considering indeed. how far off he was at the end of the la first lap. Yeah, let's quickly look at the uh, championship uh, contenders then. Hunter, 14th at the moment. He's uh, on the back foot out of these guys. Oh Touring God. has made up a few more positions. That is nearly three wide in the foreground. Touring is in 12th, and that is Zenny, I believe, in the in the battle just uh, ahead of them. Yeah, Zenny making up places, actually. He's at the head of that battle now, but he's still going to have to defend from two or three or four cars trying to challenge him into turn two. Zenny on the inside, and that is up into his eighth place then, ahead of Shaggy Dan and Andrex as well, up into the top ten. Zenny now and with some TM clear Turing air. Right behind them. Yeah, and this battling has brought TM Touring and the, uh, the Hunter not too far behind either back into the mix. And Andrex, no, he's uh, side by side with Shaggy Dan now for ninth position. Andrex wants to follow Zenny through here as Touring tried to make moves but just behind as well. It's damage limitation for him after the first race. But he's uh, not far off Zenny and he's trying to follow like through quickly. Well. Yeah. Oh, another slide, and that is Hunter this time. And they're all going in a line into the stadium section. Touring thinking about trying to break later through the right hander, but it's a hard corner to do it on. Shaggy down though, force a defend. The bank Shaggy left down. hander. Shaggy down another one who, okay, he didn't have the best race uh, earlier, but he he's still within the championship with TM Touring's. He still would have gained, he's probably still like fourth or fifth at this point. He certainly is, and uh, yeah, he's uh, oh, he's kind of defending. That's Touring has actually been put under pressure from uh, Van Omen. He's not the very fast guy. Van Omen is proving a hard car to pass. He yeah. Was very, very. Well, he must have been quick enough to get through the grid like he did in the last race, so I think these, some of these faster guys are finding it a bit hard to get past him. And Touring surely doesn't want to get past by Van Omen here. Who has no uh, say in the championship? He's way down because he hasn't done every race. But uh, yeah, he's uh, showing his pace at the moment. Of course, uh, he's showed himself as a top driver as well in the GT3 leagues uh, last season as well. But uh, Touring winning out on this particular occasion and going straight on back on the attack on Shaggy Dan. Similar situation to last lap. This is exactly how they went into this corner then as well. Touring on the outside and again just forced. To a slot in behind him in the foreground, Andrex is still putting the pressure on Zenny, who finally found some clear air again, but uh, <laughs> Andrex is not letting him rest whatsoever. And um, uh, while well, we've been watching all of this, 
Oh, up into second place. Second place. Fantastic progress from Scott. He's gone through all of those uh, guys that started at the front, apart from one, of course, and Noah. 8.3 seconds ahead. That is what. That is all Scott will be thinking about, about now in the last 24 minutes of this race. Will he have the pace to close down eight and a half seconds to Noah? I would be surprised that even a man of Scott's pace, given that Noah as well had a good fast lap in the first race, he can be fast. Thing is, is the little, his last lap, for example, was a 31.9. He was over a second faster in the last race, just on his personal best. So I think Noah's got speed. I think maybe just a little bit inconsistent, and that's where. Someone like Scott is just going to capitalize and reel him in. Yep. Now he's got clear track, he can just go for it. He was so unlucky in that last race, I think he's got a bit between his teeth here. Yeah, he's definitely looking fantastic around this particular track, and uh, we just have to keep an eye on that gap, really, between first and second. Touring, though, has made the move on Shayadam for 10th uh, place and pulled a little bit of a gap as well. Van Omen was not quite able to follow, he's in uh, 13th now, has not been able to make more progress. Zenny up to 7th, so who have they gone past? Shooter, I think that it must be them. Yeah. He suddenly just uh, finds himself in between <laughs> those guys, and Tim Touring is coming fast at him. Well, let's see if we got. What we've got one around here. Oh, what's this going on? 17th, Oscara Ironic, right on the back of Obnator. Yeah. So, uh. Ironic was a guy that I was uh, advised that would be very fast because <laughs> he was fast in the three uh, pro league, I believe, last season. But he's not able, been able to show quite the same in the races done in this league so far. Thing is, these cars are so different. I think as if I assume the Renault, is, for example, is front wheel drive, and getting speed out of a front wheel drive car is totally different to the yeah. rear wheel drive GT3s. Definitely, uh, this is a different driving style, of course. Default setups as well. It uh, yeah. could be that a setup suits a few drivers a bit more than others. Oh, my goodness. Well, that was a brilliant <laughs> slide. It's real. That was fantastic directing. And who is that? Is that was that Ricky Brush? That was Ricky Brush. It's being passed by uh, Zenny and I suspect Andrex soon. Oh, but who will Although get past him first? Will it be Zenny or will it be Andrix to go past Ricky Brush first here? Because he's defending and <laughs> Andrix is very close behind Zenny. They'll run the outside of both of those apexes. And can he make the move yet? Yeah, just breaking at his normal point. Zenny, fantastic stuff there. Ricky Brush is still sliding the BMW side by side now. Andrix trying to make his way through, but he's forced a little bit wide, touching the back. Uh, on the side, at least, of Ricky Brush's car. I think he's got a better speed down the straight, but he's on the outside still. Ricky Brush with an easier line. Andrex trying to hang on in there. And fantastic stuff again. Andrex makes the move on his fellow BMW driver. And TM Touring then, I don't know, we're just coming steaming through as well. Ricky Brush didn't really fight that too much. I think he's realized that uh, these guys are some of the top drivers in the league. And, and Andrex just had some oversteer coming out of that corner, and oh, Tony yeah. just taking him as well. So <laughs> wow. one, car, one car on the entry and one on the exit. Now that is overtaking. <laughs> that is fantastic stuff. Touring showing that he, uh, well, he's living up to his name. He's doing good, good stuff in the touring car. Andrex though not giving up. I think this could be a Van Omen situation for Touring. He uh, was quite able to shake Van Omen as quickly as he wanted to, and Andrex is back up the inside. Also in the BMW, which braked a little bit earlier than a touring, which uh, could be what uh, well prevents him from taking that position. Touring now ahead and has a choice of which Ooh. line to take. A little bit of a dummy maybe there from Andrex. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, that was the dummy just in the middle of the straight, a little bit further away from the corner that we usually see it. But he's gone for the inside line and he's actually gotten ahead of touring with nice that little move. Oversteer as well. Oh, is he going to pin him to the inside as Turing comes and tries to go back up oh! the inside? It's so clumsy, but it's great racing. It's clumsy in the sense that it's so slow, but it's super fair racing. It's costing them all the time as well, but they're, yeah. they're desperate to keep ahead. Be a bit frustrating for Turing, who sees his championship rival Zenny out in front, uh, pulling away from them, but he needs to be ahead of Andrex and is doing a good job there here to make it happen, despite Andrex's best effort to uh, take the position back away from him. Yeah, great uh, clean racing between the, the those guys, and that's a slidey Renault in the background. That was Goski, I think, yeah. Goski, Goski loses some momentum in the stadium section. 
another sort of 10 minutes has gone by since the last update for Hunter, <laughs> who, who stormed through the field so well in, in Watkins Glen is, I think, probably struggling a little bit with this with this queue. Yeah. Well, now we've got like Turing's got up, Andrex has gone up, Rick oh, had that incident, but Zenny's up to now sixth and, and the Hunter still down in 14th. He's, uh, he's still, I say still down, he's made up, he's just been passed. Wow. He's just lost another position. He's struggling. He's damage. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. It's uh, not unusual for these cars uh, to, you know, bang wheels and doors a little bit. But I can't visually see any uh, notable damage on the Hunter's car. Yeah, it's it's quite critical this, in terms of his championship challenge, really. With uh, Touring and Zenny both having made great progress through the field. Zenny, 6th at the moment, Touring in 7th. Hunter can't really afford to be fighting down here for 14th, but uh, he's uh, trying to make this move now on Gosku around the outside of the fast right. And that one he has managed to do. So back up to 14th for the Hunter, but he's got a lot of work to do if he wants to uh, minimize it. Points lost to Zenny and Touring, who are looking very strong at this moment in time. Touring now has his side set, so just closing that gap to Zenny ahead. Well, Zenny is trying to pull in the top five. No, he's just chilling. Noah has just been caught by seven tenths on the last lap. Ooh. The lap before that, it was only a tenth. He has the pace, he's just a little inconsistent with it. It's good. I think Scott's got the gap down now to six and a half seconds down from about eight. He is definitely catching. Although I assume that's lapped traffic in front of him. Must be a lapped car. Uh, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom driver. Yeah, that's Mad Dog. Go who is last at the moment. He must have been through the pits for some repairs then, I would imagine. But, uh... It's going to be so close. Yeah, both really still running around in third, though. Yeah, both doing a good job to hang on from his good starting position to Desert Pack. He's not far behind. He has, of course, shown that some uh, strong pace at times as well. And he was not... over a second faster than Bow on the last lap as well, so... Yeah. I mean, he's not really had the season he would have wanted, I think. I think he's shown good pace, but he's not quite had the position. He's had a couple of sixth places, but he's also had a couple of, you know, lower points places. Mm -hmm. But here, he could be on for a podium if he can catch and challenge Bo. And Alexis like is up into 10th, yeah. Top ten. After that uh, incident at the end of the first lap, he's, he's, he's slightly more impressive, I think, actually, because... He was off the gap back, had to make a gap up, and has got back. As Rick has just picked up a time penalty for track limits. Oh man, yeah, there's a few drivers. I mean, uh, Bo in third has got a penalty, and then uh, Goscu, Master, Rick, Shooter, Marauder, and Maddog a bit further down the field. As so we have actually lost a driver from the session because we have 25 when we checked on Maddog being lapped earlier on. We're now into 24 yeah. cars running. I'm not even going to try and guess who that was, although Zenny uh, has just made up another position. Yeah, but that is not because of the discussion, that is nope. actually a pass on Jay Cool, who is uh, just uh, the car behind now. Doesn't quite have the pace of uh, those guys. As last lap, Bo did a 135.5 in third position. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's picked up another penalty, because I think when you pick up a penalty, it adds it to your lap time. <laughs> Is that okay, that was that would be okay, that's an interesting way of doing it. <laughs> I believe that's how I've sort of understood it anyway from previously, because I've seen like someone have like a s really uh, slow lap time at some point, but they haven't really, you know... If, if they actually had had that slow lap, they would have been leading the race or something. So, yeah. Oh, Jay Cool letting TM touring through that, that was... I'm not really fighting you today, you can go. <laughs> Leave me alone, I think. <laughs> Just having a Sunday drive. Just trying to not... Uh, I mean, you probably realise that these guys are not the guys he should really be fighting on pace. So just trying to uh, minimise the time loss to further cars coming from behind. Speaking of further cars behind, this is Shaggy Dan and uh, Alexis battling now for ninth position. Alexis. Wondering how far up the grid. It's like, again, Shaggy Dan, championship contender. Yeah. But he's. I mean, he's where did he finish in the first race again? Uh, uh, it was sort of like sixth, seventh, I think. Yeah, yeah so he's he was still I mean, in the top ten. And he was still would have gained on TM Touring. Yeah. 
See, I mean, he's, he's kind of the dark horse in the championship, I would say, in yeah, a way. He, he needs a little bit more luck, I think, and a little yeah. bit more pace, but he's he's certainly in, put himself in the right position. And consistent finishes is what you need. Yeah, it really is. Same with Rick, really. He was fifth in the championship on the same points as the Hunter before the first race tonight, but of course he's having a bad race now in the second one. Bo, though, he... Uh, that's uh, no longer doing a 35 lap time, which is good for him, but he's still going slower than to Desipak behind him. This could be a move for third in just a second. Both of them getting a bit wiggly into the stadium section. To Desipak tried to go for it already, but uh, it's a hard one to be going. Oh, I suppose slows down a lot. I wonder if Bo may have got some like a warning maybe for running wide into the gravel. And just thought, you know yeah. what? I don't know, but that, but hey, Tedesco Park capitalizes on that. Oh, well, Tedesco Park will uh, suddenly take it. And uh, Bo still has a decent gap, but of course, when he, he when oh. he realizes who he has got the gap to, he's probably not going to be too confident of staying in fourth either. Oh, look at this. Championship rivals on track together. Oh, Tedesco Park is that a problem. He's he, oh, taken oh, podium, God. but then he's lost it again and it's been passed by both touring. And uh, Zenny nearly getting in their way as well as Touring does make the move on Zenny, crucial for the championship. These guys were, what, what did you say, like three points apart going into yeah. this race in Touring's favour. And Touring now moving ahead on the track as well, which is absolutely crucial for him. This is now fourth no place. Yet, it's really no isn't. over yet. But today's a fact, May! Ooh, he's trying, the he's oh, he's trying! <laughs> he nearly tell him turn into the barrier there. He did nearly take himself out. <laughs> it is, it's, I guess it's supposed it can be quite hard. You can maybe go on board with his cockpit just to see, you know, when you're right stuck behind someone, it can be a bit hard to see, you know, your breaking point and, and the apexes um, in the way you would normally see them when you're practicing alone and when you're in clear and air. Let's see here on board with Zenny in the fifth place now, following the championship leader, CM Touring. They're not far apart in the championship anymore. But Touring now having the upper hand. The three point gap already in the championship and the track position here in the second race. You know what I'm interested in? Mm, no. Oh. Oh, Hunters now has definitely got damage. That is a very wonky front bumper there and he's going <laughs> on the outside of uh, Ironic. Oh, there as one of the cars, cars following. Spun it. Rick has uh, gone from bad to worse for Rick. After a solid Hunter, first race. Who, who gained so much on TM Touring in that first race. Still struggling. He's fighting yeah. like hell for everything, but he's just not making the progress. It really is damaged now. It, it's definitely, you, we can you know, say with quite incident. certainty now, finally, that uh, damage is costing Hunter, whatever or whoever he has uh, had some kind of contact with. And he's fighting hard to try and stay ahead. Oh, he's breaking later. I mean, he's hanging on in there. Fair play to him. Ahead of Ironic. With that uh, <laughs> front bumper that's trying its best to get off his car. But he's just not telling it. a fun story. <laughs> yeah, I think this is just going to be another. I mean, he defended all race for the win in the first one. This is going to be a defense just to keep 14. There's a both run a bit wide there. But Hunter is still hanging on to these points. Needs every point he's he can get. Trying. To give I'm himself the, the best now. possible position for the final week. Uh, next Wednesday. But yeah, back up at the front. Noah is leading the gap down to 5.1 seconds to Scott. The chasing blue and white Renault. You can see in the background. Scott can of course see the leader on the long straights whenever he goes on to them. I'm sure uh, Noah is probably not focusing too much in his, in his mirrors, trying to avoid looking there. Just about to see him. <laughs> yeah, you can see him in the distance, and uh, Scott is doing a very good job, but it's only 10 minutes ago. It'll be a tough task to catch him. I think he needs to catch him a tiny bit quicker at the moment if he wants to get there, but it's, it could still be close. How far up do we think? I think Bo's going to be the limit for the for the championship, guys. 
There's a 10 second gap between Bo and uh, uh, you, who Bo yeah. who gifted that position to Desert Pack is still in a podium <laughs> position. We well, clearly knew what was going to happen. Well, yeah, he was like, yeah, go. I know there's some oil on the track. <laughs> you can take it out for me. Yeah. It's very good uh, tactics there from Bo. Who's, yeah, he's hanging on, doing a good job. I mean, he's not got the best pace like, uh, by, by far in the field, but he's, you know, he's running consistent laps and he's not making any mistakes. And, uh, he's, yeah. uh, he's doing a good job, his bow. Although yeah. I suspect it may all be in vain when this gentleman and this gentleman cash up. Yeah, it's going to be uh, tricky to keep those guys behind. He wants to keep his dreams of a podium uh, <laughs> alive. Especially he's got a penalty as well. Don't know how many yeah. seconds that is. but uh, have a lot. It's only a but second. There's only one second, yeah. Because he'll be fine, but of course... Uh, Touring. He's very nearly one second behind him. There's a few cars further down with penalties as well, but uh, yeah, as you, as you said, Bo is probably the limit for these guys. Given the gap to Scott and the pace that Scott and Noah is running up ahead, as Andrex is battling with Dudesseback now. So Dudesseback dropping off the back of the two championship contenders and into the clutches of Andrex. Should so. be a relatively easy. But well, I say that to Desert Pack was willing to have another go back on, <laughs> on Zenny and Turing when they went past him, so I don't think he's willing to let any position go too easily. Look at Andrex oversteering now <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> you should have seen him last week in the rain at Oakland Park. He was sideways through every single corner in that race, and he somehow was still the fastest guy on track. Drift King. <laughs> Absolute drift king in that rear wheel drive BMW. Fighting against uh, all the front wheel drive rivals around him. Speaking of one of them here, Noah is uh, still running decent lap times up in, up in front at 131.2 that time around. Scott in second place at 130.7, so another 5 tenths clawed in between the top two. 3.7 seconds down the gap, but it's only seven minutes. Yeah, it, it really could be quite close. It's going there. Uh, like the lap before there, the one, not the last lap, the lap before. Scott gained nearly a second on him. Just wonder whether the pressure is going to start eating into Noah, knowing that there's something coming to get you. <laughs> and when it, get, it when it gets there, you you've got nowhere else to hide. <laughs> it's not it's not like he can rely on all the back markers. I mean, Phantom Hamster's a bit ahead of him, and he's having a torrid time. I, I'm still pretty convinced he's got some issues along the way because he dropped down the field very quickly. Uh -huh. um, but he can't. But no, I can't rely like the hunter did on on third, fourth, and fifth being right behind him. When Scott gets there, it's one v one. Talking of one v one. Oh, yeah. Bo v Touring for third, the final spot on the podium. Boss done good job to hang on to it for the whole race, pretty much. But Touring is the championship leader. He is a very, very fast. Bodo, he's defending, yeah, he's yeah. fighting it, he wants the podium, but I think the overspeed that Turing was able to carry through that right-hander might just be a little bit too much to handle, and there we go, he's got the move done, relatively straightforward overtake, but still, had to make it work, and now Zenny will be hoping to do the same in just a bit. Luckily the, for Bodo, uh, there is a couple of seconds behind Zenny, so he could... Uh, you know, even those guys, of course, Andrex and Dudesseback, two very fast guys, so Bo really can't afford to lose much time. No, I think that's maybe why he thought, I I'm, I'm can't lift off and let you go, otherwise I'll lose m I'll way more than one position. Who else we got around? And Alexis and Mr. Van Oman, I think, having a little bit of a scrap. And Alexis, still moving up. I don't know how much further he's going to go, but he's still moving. I will say, in the last few minutes, there have been a lot more red numbers appearing on the side of the screen. Yeah. So, uh, penalties, just like we saw in the first race, starting to stack up. I mean, the first race was only 20 minutes. Uh, this is a 40 minutes race, so a higher chance of the penalties uh, stacking up, of course. And here is Ad Alexis. He doesn't have a penalty. The car challenging him, though, has got major damage, actually, by Norman. <laughs> I wonder if that's... Uh, Sort of lag damage that doesn't actually appear for him, but because uh, that car looks very banged up to be challenging at Alexis, lying the way is at the moment. I would say it is because he's pretty okay on my screen. 
Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that must be some kind of uh, spectator damage on my end then in that case, because Venomen is going for the move on at Alexis side by side into the stadium on the inside in that BMW and he makes the move for 8th position. Venomen though does have a penalty, so uh, he needs to pull a little bit of a gap depending on how many seconds he's managed to rack up throughout the race. Back up front. Both of those guys have uh, navigated Phantom Hamster quite easily, the back marker. It's now still just a straight fight on lap times between these guys. Two and a half seconds. Again, a second on the last lap. Two and a half seconds, four minutes to go. Can he do it? Ah, he's got every chance. He's got every chance. Is that turn going a little bit wide there? He may have been. Ah, this is going to be so close. But this is why if you, you get that pole position in the sprint race, if you really want to win, even if your pace isn't that great, you've got to get the early laps in. Whilst the fast guys have just got a pack in front of them and can't move. Definitely. That is uh, the way to go when you uh, are starting in that kind of position. Just, uh, you know, avoid getting tangled up with someone. Just use the clean air. That is what Noah has done. While everyone else has been busy battling through the field. Of course, Scott uh, got through the, <laughs> the whole field that he needed to get through. Relatively early on, so he's had a lot of laps now to close this gap that it was a uh, eight something second gap when he started finally in that clean air he's brought it down to 2.3 now no with a 131.3 that particular lap 131.2 he's only gained another tenth of a second it's not gaining enough at the moment is uh, scott noah is responding well to the pace the, that he uh... needs to do the, the, the race that this plan will forget, I think. He's now lost two uh. more positions with that damage. He did so well in the first race, but I think in this one it's just it's just gone against him, I think. Yeah. And Rick, who, and put it this way, Rick was backwards at one point and uh, is, is battling with the Hunter over 16th place. Yep, these guys, of course, both finished in the top four in the first one. Mm hmm. So, uh, See the contrasting uh, sort of uh, main races, the Touring and Zenny up uh, at the front. These guys battling it up for eight, sixteen. Yeah, Bose. Yeah, he's still hanging on to fourth. Did a good job there. Zenny not able to uh, pull off anything, and it's been you know a couple of laps since Touring got through. I wonder if Bose using Touring as a bit of a reference. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it can help to have someone really fast just ahead of you and sort of try and copy a bit how they drive. Or you break too late and fall off the road. Well, but the, the, if, but if you, if you try to be exactly like the faster guy and you're not actually as good as them, then it can be a bit... But, uh, <laughs> but they have the same tools at the same, same car, same setup, same track. Yep. And there's no reason why what Bo does, to, uh, what Touring car, team Touring does, Bo can't do and same for Zenny. Indeed. So we only got 1 minute 15 seconds to go for uh, Zenny to make the move on Bo. For 4th position could be crucial for the championship of course. Limit the uh, gap to touring as much as possible going into the final week. Uh, and Hamster of course... Getting out of the way. Yeah, it's back marker there. And Scott though, still he's not doing enough anymore at the moment. He's uh, got another couple of tenths on the previous lap but uh, still 2 seconds to gain. We've got less than a minute to go. Could be the final lap. Can we quickly check where the leaders are? So he's gonna. Yeah, it could, uh, we, we will see. Could be down to the wire as well as to whether it is will it be the final lap. But let's go down to fourth place again, because then he's now making the move, trying anyway to uh, outbreak him on the outside of the double right. But Bo again just holding on to it. Is any pushing hard on the <laughs> on the exit? But Bo defending that inside line. Is any cutting back a little bit? It's gonna be side by side now. In the middle of the lap, Zenny on the outside, carrying a good amount of speed. But is it enough to get the advantages needs into the right hand? Or he has to leave room because the nose of Bo is still there, but he stayed on track and he's got the yeah. position. And that is it. <laughs> and is was that a, have they already gone across the line? No, that They're is the final lap. <laughs> Noah wins. He holds on from the chasing Scots to win the second race here. Talking, I'm Scott. Only. A second or two behind him in P2. Touring 
from the back of the field. A fantastic recovery after not being able to take part in the first race due to technical issues. He finishes in third to keep the lead of the championship. Zeni gets fourth, also stays close and in the championship fight going into the final week. Bo, a good drive from him to hold on to P5. Andrex ahead of Tudesapak in the end for sixth and seventh. And at Alexis jumping ahead of Oman, Van Oman because of Van Oman's penalty. Shagiran in the top 10 as well. I have Jay Cool, who also started towards the front, dropped down to 11th. Goscu and John Beauregard in 12th and 13th. Then comes Ironic and uh, Matster just behind him. And of course, the Hunter. <laughs> well, first we have the Rick. Uh, the Rick? Well, sure. <laughs> and then the Hunter with his wonky front bumper. He got, does get a bit of points. I think top. Uh, top 20 do score points there, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough points to stay uh, as close in the championship to Touring and Zenny as what he would have liked at the start of this race. We had uh, actually Rick's dropped down. The Hunters moved up to 15th because of penalties. Gosku and Rick have dropped down to 17th and 18th. Lindholt crossed the line in 18th, but he's up to 16th in the results as he stands. Shooter, he started up towards the front. He uh, must have had some kind of problems. Finishes 19th and then. Someone came across in 20th as well. Quickly check who that was, and that was uh, well, a shooter dropped to 20th. Marauder gets 19th then. Then Mike Self and Manchester Maddo. Ricky Brosh. Oh, what happened to Ricky Brosh? He retired at some point. He lapped off about halfway through. I know we lost somebody, but I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a shame for him. But either way, Noah, fantastic win. He uh, wasn't really anywhere in the championship, uh, I believe. Uh, he was about around the midfield in the championship. He's had, you know, finished yeah. around 10th in all the races he's finished so far this season. But now he's, he's suddenly on the top step of the podium. It's a fantastic drive for him from the front of the field. Not making any mistakes. Scott, though, was closing in. But uh, couldn't quite get there. Still, though, Scott, I mean, he... Uh, yeah, it'd be hard for him to get back in the championship fight, I would say. But it, it's it's going to be a struggle with only two rounds to go. He, he's uh, he would need a lot of luck, I think. Yeah, but certainly he showed today that he has the pace. So if Absolutely. He, uh, if he does get a couple of wins next week, you know, you never never know what will happen to the other guys. So it's the only issue with these with these interim leagues, these short. Four round championships. You have you cannot afford a bad race. You bad, cannot afford a bad round because it just really. And even if it's not your fault, you know technical issues. It it can really damage your your challenge for a championship. It's like uh, the hunter. You know, even just bef at the halfway point of the season, he'd had two thirds and a tenth, but he'd also had a DNS. Yeah. Where would he have been if he'd not had that DNS? It's it's how this this these things play out. Yeah, obviously touring now has a, has had a DNS. Scott has had a DNS. Uh, Hunter has had a DNS. So you know, <laughs> some technical issues affecting a few guys, which uh, is part of online racing in forty sometimes. Yeah, in the same way that real life drivers have mechanical failures, internet has internet failures, and unfortunately, they're both equally annoying. Indeed. So yeah, that was uh, the two races we had tonight. I uh, hope those of you who have been watching the stream have enjoyed it. I wonder if we will get any interviews at uh, the moment. Have we got anyone in the waiting? Nah, not at the no. moment. I'm not really too bothered, personally. I think <laughs> last time I was here it was, if someone joins, we'll interview them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, we'll, we'll give it a minute. Maybe see if anyone really wants to talk to us. But so uh, obviously for next week when we have had a championship uh, a winner crowned, we will surely wanting to speak to anyone. But I don't think it's too important oh. for now. But we do have one guy who wants to talk to us. Oh, two guys even, three guys. Oh my goodness! All, the people. All of the championship contenders, uh, or at least the ones who were championship contenders, got into this race. The main ones, anyway. Wants to have a chat. So let's grab them in what we think is the current championship order. So, touring first in that case. Oh, actually, never mind. Yeah, let's get the <laughs> race winner from the second race first, actually. And that is VSR Noah. You have won oh. the race. How are you feeling? How was that? 
Yes, finally. That uh, I don't know how to feel actually. Uh, I, I'm obviously uh, it was great the the, the second race, uh, but yeah, a lot of a lot of bullshit happened in the first race. But yeah, at least uh, it, I had uh, some kind of redemption. Yeah. So what, what happened in the first race actually? Um, just, I uh... first had a um, a incident with another car where I spun. Right. And then um, I got, uh, during another overtake, I got pushed off the track and the game said, uh, um, obviously, that I overtook off the track and then I get a, got a 30 second uh, time penalty. Ah. But yeah, both of those, I think both of those incidents are going to the stewards. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, of course, you uh, started on pole in the second one and uh, how was that feeling? Yeah. I mean, uh, you may be not too used to starting with that position. <laughs> No, no, no! It, it, it was uh, the, my first pole position and my first <laughs> race win in a long, long time. Was it uh, scary knowing that someone like Scott was chasing you down? Oh yes, that was very scary. I was, <laughs> I was sweating like. Because <laughs> I mean, la- you, you, I noticed that at the end of the first race, you were one of only four drivers to set a lap time under a one minute thirty-one. So right. you, you you had the pace, but it was just every now and again you'd have an off lap, and then he'd reel you in. Yeah, I, I mean I, the gap was like once to like uh, up to nine seconds, and at the end it was like to two seconds. Yeah, I was, I was so scary. <laughs> <laughs> but you did well. You, uh, didn't, you, you, didn't, you didn't throw yourself off the road, although we <laughs> did cut to you at one point, and you were sideways, very sideways through turn one. <laughs> Yeah, but, I, had, uh, I, had, I had a few few lockups into the hairpin that was quite scary, but uh, yeah, don't lose much time there. Well done, mate. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. We managed to uh, not buckle under the pressure, I guess we can say. Which yeah. is a good thing. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, I think or I hope that uh, we still have uh, the championship lead. But after uh, we uh, TM Turing and myself got no points, I think, in the first race. I'm not sure yeah. about that. Yeah, I have no idea, to be honest. You were, of course, yeah, I hadn't really talked about the team championship much in this broadcast, but you were, of course, uh, with a visceral momentum racing v- VMR, leading by nine points over nonchalant dominance, who are, is that the Hunter and... I think one of them is Zenny. Is Zenny? Oh, yeah, they scored a lot of points. That's right? a couple of yeah. good teams right there. <laughs> I think, I wouldn't be surprised, to be fair, if uh, if they um, pass you, because both of those guys have a, had a yeah. great result in the first race. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised as well. But we, we're going to bounce back in the last race and take that championship. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the attitude. All right. Well, well done on the win. And, yes, uh, thank you. Best of luck for next week. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. You too. You too. Right. So, now we have our three uh, fast guys. Oh, well, not that no isn't fast guys. Uh, so, let's bring in... Who we Oh, sorry for... Breaking off there, Tori. Uh, the man who we think is the championship leader still, after, of course, unfortunately, I'm missing the first race. But uh, if my maths are correct, Tori, you are leading now by about five points or something over Zenny. We've kind of got the same maths, so I think. Yeah, okay, that's right. good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, well, I assume there was some kind of technical issues in the first race. Obviously, we've seen a few drivers already this season suffering from the same, but so what exactly happened there, if you want to enlighten us? Yeah, technical issue was in, instead of going to return to pit, I pressed exit the lobby instead. <laughs> oh, no way. No, oh, no. man. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's can happen, you know, I'm not going to judge. Uh, at, least, at least you admitted it, rather than... <laughs> I mean, I could have just said technical difficulties. I might as well be <laughs> honest about these things. Uh, fair enough. Well, at least you still need to leave the championship because what a comeback drive from the back uh, to get onto the podium in the second race. Tell us a bit about how that race was for you. Well, the, I mean, it was just a... Well, compared to the other two 40-minute races, it felt like any other, just getting through the back and just being patient and getting through the field. I did enjoy though when and when I was stuck behind Andre because it just felt I felt a lot like Alton Park all over again. Except <laughs> oh yeah. But no, other than that, it was a good race and congratulations to Noah for getting that win after the first race. Yeah, yeah, your teammates are on you. Actually, no, you're not. Oh yeah, you are. 
Oh, yeah, wait, do you want running the same livery? <laughs> I swear no, no, I'll sign a different livery. Different livery, but same team. Same team, fair enough. Yeah, because they didn't mention that. But then I got confused by the colours. Uh, so, <laughs> of course, yeah, leading the championship. Uh, two races to go next week. What, what, uh, what do you think will happen? It's gonna be close. I can tell you. I can tell you that now. Though I've made it a lot closer, rather than yeah. me kind of finishing race one and the championship being over. But, well, you made it yeah. more exciting for us. So that's, you know. I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's really why I did it. It's just to keep it interesting. Yeah, I, I don't want to run away with these things. I like. I like to make <laughs> myself work. With it. Fair enough. Well, we'd like to see you work for it. So that's good. Um. But yeah, uh, anyway, good job on the second race tonight, at least. And try not to leave the lobby next next week, because uh, we want to see if a nice... If you do, it's championship over. Probably. Yeah, exactly. Possibly. <laughs> I, I got it out of the way now. Yeah. Yeah. Good man. All right. Uh, well, good luck for the final week, then, and we'll see you later. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, so... Let's bring oh, in Zenny, who... Hi. Is five points behind Touring in the championship now, we think. And uh, yeah, two solid races from you. Uh, tell us a bit about how it was racing right now. Uh, the first race was quite good, but obviously starting first, I kind of wanted to win. Yeah. But uh, I was pushing a bit too hard and making some mistakes, and I got a couple of slowdowns. And time I got rid of the slowdowns, I dropped to, I think it was fourth or fifth, but. I managed to get my way back through with some unlucky incidents with Scott. And then obviously managed to hang on for third, which is a good. And then the second race was just trying to stay clean, going through the pack, really. Yeah. And I did a pretty good job of that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you are sort of the. Uh, out of the. We obviously we highlighted sort of you and Touring and, and uh, Hunter as well at the start of the second race because you were all up there in the championship at that point. Very close. Um, and you were the guy who made the you know the fastest moves through the field, I think. Uh, yeah, I was just getting lucky with incidents. Like, uh, there'll be an incident, and then there'll be like a gap forming where I was going, and I would just kind of get through. And I was getting really lucky, but uh, overall, I didn't have quite enough pace to keep touring behind. And yeah. he slowly caught up to me, and the time he overtook me, it was like, yeah, he's gone. I'm not going <laughs> to keep up with him. Yeah, fair enough. But... Um... Yeah, I mean, he's still close to him in the championship, but obviously, after what happened to him in the first race. Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate, the yeah. fact that he left the lobby. That's, uh, this makes it interesting level the championship, and now you have a chance, whether you feel like you deserve it or not, at least it's there, so... Um, how, how would you, how's your mindset now going into the final week? Um, honestly, when I signed up, I had, like, no expectations, really, but obviously, now that I have a good chance at the championship, I'm just going to... I don't know, maybe race a bit safer. I know like, it could all go wrong with one move. It could all go wrong or whatever. But I'll, uh, obviously I need to push hard to win, but I'll try and be keeping it uh, clean and tidy. Like really clean. The uh, track next week's Nürburgring Sprint. Have you got any feelings towards that? Is it a track you like? Uh, yeah, I like the long Nürburgring, like the GP version, but I haven't driven the short one too much. And I know one of the races is in the rain. And I'm not that strong in the rain. So, it'll be hard, but I'll try my best. Anything can happen, as we've seen today. And I've had two races previously. Certainly, it's the case. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, we can say job well done for tonight. And yeah, uh, you. wish you the best of luck for uh, for next week. All right, cheers. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. Thanks. All right, let's bring in the hunter. Mr. Oh. Hunter, hello. hello. How are you after that? Winning the first race. Let's first of all talk about that one. How, uh, uh, yeah, how well, was that? Let's that was talk about only that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I started third because touring uh, disconnected in the warm up session. And being uh, third behind my teammate who started the pack, it was kind of a given that we could have a good start together. And that put me up to second before the first turn, and I basically got in the lead um, because Zenny got a slowdown. Mm -hmm. And after that, I just had to defend, like my life depended on it, to, to bring home the win. 
Yeah, and uh, you, you suddenly did. I mean, Scott was all over you for a while, and then I think it was Andrex that was really... Yeah, it was um, it was a mirror full of curses, right? <laughs> Let's call it that. Yeah. Oh, yeah well, you, you uh, didn't let it bother you too much. You managed to hang on, so well done on that one. Yeah, but, thanks. Uh, then, of course, I think after that particular race, we had sort of in, in our heads that you, Zenny, and Touring were very close to the top of the championship. Those guys made their way through up to third and fourth. Unfortunately, didn't quite work out that for you. What, what, what happened exactly? Um, uh, lots of incidents. Nah. Um, during during overtakes on the outside, I got pushed wide a couple of times, which was my fault. But I got a slowdown of that, so I had to slow down and let a couple cars pass. Uh, with about 25 minutes to go, two cars crashed in front of me before the first turn, and they uh, slid back on the track, and I couldn't avoid them. So I had to do the second half of the race with a lot of aero damage. Yeah, we saw your bumper hanging being <laughs> Two to two and a half seconds slower than what I was usually doing. Oh man, yeah. So that was very unlucky. That certainly doesn't help. So, uh, yeah, I think you were kind of a sitting duck then from that point on. So I just had to defend as much as I could, but the cars behind me were much faster, so I, I couldn't do much. Yeah, they could just pass me on the straights, and I just had to outbreak them and see if I could keep <laughs> uh, could stay next to them in the in the turns and then inch ahead in the in the next turn. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, so very mixed mixed day, I guess. <laughs> Getting your first win uh, of the season, and then yeah, to, to say the that. least. I'm, yeah. I'm obviously very very happy with my first win in AOR. But yeah, I, I unfortunately couldn't follow up with. Uh, a Wat Watkins Glen kind of race, so to say. But the standings apparently have just been updated. You're only 15 points off the top, which is well, still doable. Which is like 10 less than it was. Which I'm is really just reading off what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you're, you're be before third in the championship. Yeah. You've still got a shot. i still got a shot, yeah. Well, I, I like the Nürburgring as well, so Ooh. I hope I... Uh... I hope I can work some magic again. <laughs> what is it? Is it is it a maximum attack? Keep it clean for the last round. Well, obviously, I I, I have to make I have, I have to make the plays. Like there's there's no there's no holding back anymore. Yeah, interesting. So I expect firework. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I look forward like to it. <laughs> so right. do I. So do I. Really very interesting indeed. Yeah. Well, uh, well done on your first race today. Uh, unlucky on the second one, and yeah, very much you. good luck for the final week. Thanks. Good luck. See you Have later. a good night. You too. Okay, that was all our interviewees for today. And Man, I uh, wanted to get an Odon pun in there. <laughs> Odon. Uh, Odon. I got it then for you. Um, so yeah, Marvin pointing out in the chat, as you mentioned, that the standings have been updated on the forum. So of course, if you all want to see the full detailed standings, head over to the... Uh, AOR, ApexOnTheRacing.com forums. Uh, navigate yourself into the Project Cars 2 section, into the Touring Car PC Elite League section, and there should be a thread or, there or for the results and something. Or you just click that link that uh, Stevie just put in the chat. You could do that and as what's, well. What's interesting is <laughs> our maths is all wrong. No, I, I, I don't think I'll, because they've applied the results with. Uh, uh, Zen in 12th for the first race because of that 20 second uh, penalty, which okay. I uh, I can't see a world where that will not point. be in the I mood. forgot about that. So he should, I forgot about that. He should be, compared to the standings that is currently on the site, he should have another 10 points, should Zenny. So it's not actually 5 points, it should be 6 then, I believe, from uh, touring down to Zenny, who should be 2nd, then Andrex is in 3rd, actually. Andrex is mm -hmm. uh, only 11 points. We've got, I would say, at least a 4-way championship fight. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Touring on 94 points, uh, Zenny presumably will be on 88, and Andrix on 83, and Od uh, well, the Hunter, uh, who is Odan on the forums, in 4th uh, with 79. So, yeah, 15 points within the top 4. To Dacid Pack as well, 18 points behind Scott, 19. I mean, there's a few dark horses as well in there, if uh, the top guys have, have issues. So it will be very interesting. This is what we like to see. A uh, championship that is far from over when we go into the final week. And you know the other thing that was just pointed out that could flip this championship on its head? Uh, someone dragging, grabbing someone by their legs and flipping them? I mean, that would do it. But 
I think it was just said that the last race of the season is a wet race. And who oh, who was it that went so well in the wet? Ooh, that the was the beaver in the, in the in the top four in the championship. Good old Andrex. And unfortunately for him, it's only the, the sprint race that's raining. Oh, so only the first one. But it's still a valuable point. Certainly. Yeah, well, that would be very interesting. So next week as well, another case of one wet race, one dry race, and uh, a champion shall be crowned. So I think, Steve, maybe that we can leave it there. Uh, Do we have uh, to? Mm, yeah, I wish we didn't, but... Uh, we probably should. Oh, I have one thing to say, though. Two things to say. One, in our defense, right, there's really not enough time in these races to talk about teams. There's just <laughs> too much going on. Yeah. And secondly, in case you missed it on the forum, uh, GT3 Season 10 has been announced. All the changes. There's so many changes. You should go and sign up. <laughs> what he said. Yeah. Steve will be very happy if you'll sign up to GT3. As I mean, long you as, will as long as you're clean drivers and kind of know what you're doing. Uh, so yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do head, the, head over to the AO website if you want to sign up to the GT3 League that will be starting uh, yeah, the week after the final race in, in this league. So that will be in two weeks. And then, of course, join us in, uh, in uh, next week as well for uh, the season finale with the final two races at Nürburgring. One of them wet, one of them... Dry and the champion yeah. shall be crowned. It's a very close championship, as we already touched on. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll see you there, Stevie, in all honesty, because I know <gasps> that King Kodiak had very much wanted to come back after he was here last week. Uh, couldn't do today, but uh, yeah, we'll wow. have to see what happens on that one. <laughs> maybe, maybe you shouldn't be here, and I'll commentate with King Kodiak. Yeah, well, you never know. Maybe. Ah, ha. Maybe I'll be assassinated in the meantime. Well, I, like, if he's a way back, he's an actual commentator. So if he's available, let him do it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just the, the guy you tell 10 minutes ago and go, I need to come again! <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. that's me. You, you're the last resort, Steve. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm the last resort, guys. <laughs> oh. Stevie, last resort. Chambers. All right. So... Um, uh, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so join us next week for some kind of commentary combination between me, CV, and King Cody. Oh, we're not doing a three-way commentary. <laughs> no, I oh, won't no. do it. Okay, fair enough. I'll go on strike. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at least there will be some more Toro action for you next week, and then of course, two in two weeks, we shall be carrying on with the streams with the GT3 season opener as well. So stay tuned on the AUR channel and make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more AUR League Racing content. Alright, see you next week and goodbye. Bye!